In the last couple of videos, we have validated against two text boxes, and we have forced the user to enter at least one character. In this video, we're gonna force the user to specify a minimum number of characters, because that's much more realistic. Very few websites would allow the user to enter just one character. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify a minimum number of characters that have to be entered into each text box. So we have to tweak the conditions we've been using for the last several videos. And so we're gonna introduce a new property and that is the length property. Now we're still gonna to continue to use the value property because we need to get the value from the text box. But we're also going to use the length property as I said. And so all we need to do is specify dot length. And this will get us the amount of characters that have been entered into the text box. So we can just append that onto our value property. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use less than, and let's force them to enter at least five characters. So what we're saying is if the number of characters is less than five, this condition will be true. And if it's true, of course, we will stop the user and then force them to enter at least five characters. So we probably should change the text here. So let's say something like, please enter at least five characters. There we go. And now we want the second text box to do the same thing. So let's just copy and paste this here. And there you can see both text boxes now have to have more than five characters for this to be false. And again, it's the same as the last video. If this expression turns out to be false, then our code won't be executed here and the form will be submitted. So let's save everything up here. And let's go ahead and run this. And we're not gonna go through all of these different outcomes, but let's do the first one where both A and B are true. So we'll enter three characters, we'll hit submit, and it stopped us. Now let's do this outcome down here and we'll enter a bunch of characters and it submitted it. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video and that's how you force the user to enter a minimum number of characters into a text box. See you guys in the next video.